Um, I can talk about circle rules. Let me give you a quick primer on circles and I'll give you one formula that's pretty useful on some of the harder circles questions. So a few things about circles. Of course, they have some of the formulas up front. So the area of the circle is pi r squared. The circumference is 2 pi r. These formulas are up front. This is also the same thing as pi d. Um, and they also tell you that there's 360 degrees in the central angle of a circle. And I believe they tell you that that's the same thing as 2 pi radians. I believe they say that's 2 pi radians. Let me double check. We can see exactly what they tell us. But anyway, they don't tell us much. They do tell us that. Yeah. Number of degrees of arc is 360. Number of uh, radians of arc is, three, is 2 pi. Um, the most important thing for many circles questions is to find that radius. If they give it to you, great. You'll probably have to use it. If they don't give it to you, most of the problem is finding that radius. So sometimes you'll have a circle with a square inscribed in it. And so in that circumstance, the diameter of the circle is the same thing as the diagonal of the square. Um, so that's how you would find your radius. On the other hand, if you have a square with a circle inside of it, inscribed in it, then the diameter of the circle is going to be equal to the side of the square. Um, maybe you'll have another case where you've got a circle with some kind of triangle in it, and maybe you have to use Pythagorean theorem to find the radius. Whatever it might be, finding the radius is usually the hard part, and once you have that, you're good to go. Um, so the formula I want to give you for certain hard questions that come up with circles looks like this. Theta over 360 equals arc length over 2 pi r, which equals sector area over pi r squared. So this is a useful proportion that you can use to help you on those questions involving arc lengths, sector areas. I mean, you might know formulas like S equals R theta. I'm not a big fan of this for the SAT for a number of reasons. Um, I prefer something like this. You also, if you wanted to, you could add on, if you wanted your radians to be in, if you wanted your angle to be in terms of radians, you could do zero over two pi. But this is a proportion that you can use to find, say, a missing arc length, or a missing angle, or a missing sector area, or something, given the information in the problem. For example, let's say we had a circle, and we know that this is 40 degrees, and we know the radius is 6, and the question's asking, what is the length of arc AB? So what we can do here is set up our formula. We have the central angle, which is theta, so it's 40 out of 360. And I want arc length, so I'm going to call that x. And I'm going to put that over 2 pi r. So 2 pi times 6. And so now I have something I can solve. So I'm going to get, uh, let's see, simplifying a little bit, 1 ninth. So it's going to be, 1 ninth, yeah. So it's going to be cross multiplying 9x is equal to 12 pi. And so x would be 12 pi over 9. And you can reduce that and simplify that, but that's your answer. So this is a useful formula for arc length problems, sector area problems, anything involving central angles, um, fractions of circles. This can be quite useful um, for those sorts of problems.